You are listening to the Monsters Mornings, Real Radio 104.1. We are broadcasting live on iHeartRadio all over the planet and also on our YouTube channel. Thank you guys for being there. Over 22,000 subscribers and a ton of folks are there now because uh, we let them know that we're going to have a special guest today. And uh, on the line with us right now, our special guest, he's an actor, rapper, producer, Omar Epps is is with us. awesome, man. Hey, Omar, how you doing, man? I'm good. How you guys doing? I am wonderful. wonderful. Man, I'm looking at all the things you have done, Omar Epps. Man, and a lot of our listeners loved you on House MD. Uh, I'm looking at all the things that you, all the awards you've won. It's I mean, the, the movies you've career. been in, Juice, Hire. I mean, the, the, so many different things. Uh, and you've got a new project, and I want to kind of hit that first so we make sure that we, uh, that we address it. It's The Devil You Know. And uh, tell us yeah. about the project. Tell us about the movie. Oh man, I, I think it's a it's a wonderful piece. It's a it's a a piece that's a it's a tale of morality. It's a tale, really. It, it's a family drama. Um, it's a it's a tale about brotherhood. It's a tale of redemption. And you know, because we all, it doesn't matter where we come from. Um, we all know how it feels to sit around a table with family. You know, and and man is cooking this, and you know, uh, cousin such and such, they just started playing cards and. Uncle such and such just broke open a bottle, so we know somebody's gonna get into a fight, and you know, like, you know, we all have that common human experience in that way, and 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 really, you know, the character that I play is is faced with a moral quandary, and I think morality is relative, you know, because it's based on the the circumstance that a person's going through. We never know what we will do until we're faced with that situation in real time. I hey, know. Did you? Uh, are you the producer of this one as well? I'm an executive producer along with my co-pilot uh, Michael Ely, um, who, who's an amazing uh, human being, but but you know an amazing talent as well. And and we just sort of put our hands in the pot, so to say, and, and really tried to um, help bring this thing to life. Yeah, I think we're scheduled to talk to him on on Friday. Uh, so w- when is the when's the film coming out, Omar? The film will be out technically on uh, the 31st um, at night, you know, but officially sort of, you know, April 1st. It will come, we're coming out. Uh, it'll be in AMC theaters only, uh, exclusively rather. Okay. Um, and so we just want. I've been calling it. I've been calling it an experience, and it's not just a film because it's a type of film where, you know, the audience is at the screenings I've been going to. The audience is yelling back at the. <laughs> Of the screen. And, um, <laughs> That's good. That's you know, good. After the credits roll, it's like it's the conversations continue. You can hear people having like debates, heated debates, and stuff like that. And that was the intent, you know, because we just wanted to explore these themes of 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 uh, of, of humanity, really. But uh, you know, through the lens of family and and a tight knit family at that. Uh, okay. I, I, uh, on the line with us right now is Omar Epps. Uh, yes, uh, Angel. Question for Omar. Omar, how does it feel like this? Uh, I think of you and uh, Michael in the same way. I feel like I know you guys. Right. I, like you got you two <laughs> actors in particular come up in a generation of movies. Like the first time I meet you as an actor is in Juice, and oh I pretty God. much can remember every single thing that you've ever done. Do you get that same kind? Of, like I, I feel like it's a different kind of fandom when you're a fan of Omar Epps because like I'm in college and that's when I meet you and and and. Like you're my one of my good friends. <laughs> well, first and foremost, I appreciate that. I really do. And second, you have the right to feel that way because, hey, man, you grew up with me. Right. When I did Juice, I was 17 years old. <laughs> so we've grown up together. You know what I mean? And and now I'm 48, and, and I still love this thing of ours that we do. And so I, you know, I appreciate um, um, everything that you just expressed. Uh, Carlos, question for Omar Epps. Uh, Omar, I'm a, a massive fan. I'm also an actor, and I really respect Thank your you. work. Um, and I hope to work with you one day. You were doing, and I say this in the best way, like what people say, woke films before it was a cool thing to do. And I say that in in in, in really in high regard because it was so much more treacherous to make a juice back then. Higher learning. Um, I'm also a massive Tupac fan, so of course I got to talk to you about Juice. Did you know what you were creating when you were creating uh, Juice? Or was it like, hey, let's see if it flies? Well, you never do. Um, you know, you're just in the moment. If, you, if, you, if, you, if you're working from the right space, 
you're just in the moment trying to figure that moment out. And the rest will be what it may. But I will also go back. and You just said something that I hope to work with you. Let's shift that to I will work with you. you I love it. I love it, It's something that's friend. Just, just that simple. Just that simple. It seems simple, but it's important. So it's like we, we you know, the, the, the universe is here on our side. We oh, just oh. have to. It's all there for us, you know. Oh, but Omar, Tupac I love that you say that. an incredible force. I love that you say that, Omar, because the, my other question was going to be this. I just finished a Marvel project called Hawkeye, and I look at your work, and I don't see the comic book movie yet. I, I know you got one in you. Have you been off? I'm sure oh, yeah. you've been offered. You're just waiting for the right time. Tell me, what's the background on that? Where is it in your gigantic resume that you need? Well, if you know I've been offered, then I need your phone number because they need to call. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'll talk to my Marvel um, peeps. I'll talk to them. Yeah. yeah. No, I would love to do that. I I, I want to do it all, you know. I would love to do that. You know, I'm a fan of, of that genre as well, and, and um, especially having kids and stuff like that. And um, I just want to – I still love what I do. So my whole thing is I, I feel like when you're moving from the right space, it's like I'm still having fun. Yes, you know, that's good. Um, and to be able to affect people in in a way for the better is, is a is a great um, privilege. Hey, right. Omar, I I, I want to do it all. You know, I would love to do that. You know, I'm a fan of of that genre as well, and and um, especially having kids and stuff like that. And um, I just want to. I still love what I do. So my whole thing is, I I feel like when you're moving from the right space, it's like I'm still having fun. Yes, you know, that's good. Um, and to be able to affect people in in a way for the better is, is a is a great um, privilege. Hey, right. o- Omar, when I was thinking about, I knew you were calling today. And when I was thinking about it, I I know that this is one of those things where you, you call a lot of radio stations, and I'm like, man, the poor guy probably has to answer the questions about Will Smith and Chris Rock all day long. It's probably irritating to you. Uh, how do you answer that question? Like, what, what your thoughts are on it? Do, do you even want to talk about it? I don't want to piss you off or anything, but I mean, uh, you know, I, obviously, yeah. you're you're a rapper, a producer. You've you probably won, know both of them. You've won a bunch of awards. I'm just, we are all are curious what your thoughts are. Hey, man. At the end of the day, I think that those. I, first of all, I have so much respect for those guys as um, human beings and and as you know, people in this thing of ours, and they've accomplished so much. And I think that they'll work that out uh, amongst themselves, you know, behind closed doors. But, you know, we're allowed to have a human experience, you know. We all, you know, take a stumble or a fall here and there. It's just about how we get back up from it. And at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's specifically amongst black and brown people, it, it's like a brotherhood anyway. So they'll figure it out, you know, and it, it, what's happened has happened, and they'll figure it out, you know, and, and I just – I just send my prayers out to to both of them and also to to their families. Have you had to deal with that all day? Is, is it irritating you? No, no, it's not an irritation because it's a reality. It, it yeah, happens, you know what I mean. Like, it, so it, there's no way to dance around it. It's just about how you approach. You know, for me, it's it's about having uh, trying to have at least um, compassion and empathy <clears throat> for the situation and not looking at it like you know fodder and 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 right. I. I actually respect the way that you approach asking the question because, you know, you have a job to do as well. Yeah. And, you know, there are, you know, the people on your side of the fence that it's just a sort of a, a thing. It's a whimsical. And it's like, no, you're dealing with human beings. Like, we don't right. know what's going on. We don't. Right. You know what I mean? And, and that's the, the the approach that I take because at the end of the day, after the lights and the cameras t- turn off, we got lives to live, you know? Right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the movie is called The Devil You uh, You Know, starring Omar Epps. And, and Mike, we're talking to Michael on Friday. Is there any, What question do you think we should ask Michael? If, if, if we're going to ask a good one, what should it be, Omar? Oh, damn. Now you stumped me with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, just ask him about the film, man. Michael is great. Um, he was a great, I, I call him co-pilot. Um, we both were so passionate about this project. And I know for me, you know, this has been an eight-year journey. Um, and, 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 and Mike came in along the way and, and we helped see this thing over the finish line, and, and which is amazing to me. And um, I think he's a wonderful artist, a wonderful actor, but, and, and I know he's going to be an incredible director one day because that's kind of the, the lens he looks from. Um, <clears throat> so 
you know, I, I, I can't answer that question, so yeah. to say, but I know he'll be excited to talk to you guys about the piece. Very good. Omar Epps, thank you so much thank for you, taking Thanks, time to man. talk to us, answering all thank the questions. Once again, the movie is The Devil You Know comes out this Friday. Oh, and he's, he's got to run because he's got a bunch he of stuff. He was mad at us the no. last question, Russ. Thanks no, he said yeah. he way to ruin it with a Will Smith. He said, I appreciate the way you asked the question. <laughs> Screw you guys. When we come back, it's time for the <laughs> <laughs>